Trying to get all natural. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I was have to do the chair, okay? Like that's part of my intro now. Anyways, I'm happy to be back. Today I want to actually review some curls and potions. This shampoo is definitely interesting. I don't even know exactly how to how I feel about it. Like I mean, my hair feels soft. Like my hair texture is wiry on its own, so I can still feel it as wiry. So it doesn't feel coated. It doesn't feel silky. It just feels soft and it feels moisturized and it feels clean. So I mean, it's kind of pretty much winning. Um, I do see some definition. I, it is drawn up a little bit, but overall, I think my hair feels great. I can run my fingers through after rinsing. It's soft on the top, moisturized and clean. Yeah, feeling good. Maybe this is the treatment part of it too. So I do think like I would definitely repurchase. I wish it had a slightly less strong scent, I guess. But I love the ingredients and I love that my hair likes it. So next I'm gonna get into the deep moisture portion. My hair could definitely do with moisture. Again, I skipped a week. I tend to come on when I do. But yeah, bring the moisture. Again, a kind of herbal scent. So I guess I bought all of these Curls and potions this year because of the Ayurveda, so I guess herbal scents come with the territory and I rather smell herbal than chemically. So again, it's kind of herbal. So this has rice water, <laughs> which makes me a little scared because you all know my history with rice water. And the shampoo has rice water as well. But I mean, it's not really staying in there, it's being rinsed out, so hopefully we can make it work. And like a lot of people said, I probably just shouldn't have used rice water like every week for like, I don't know, at least two or three weeks. Using it once and forever should be okay. Immediately, I love how this is like melting into my hair but still feeling rich and creamy. So, I'm liking it so far. It's just a very light, very, very light texture. Like, kind of almost like some kind of styling cream. Like, not exactly leave in, but it's kind of like a typical deep conditioner as well. But it's going on nice, it's going on rich. I did use like about half, which is very reasonable. I mean, with my hair shorter now, half is kind of the typical for me. Not bad on the usage. Let me stop playing and see how much slip it has. Ooh. Okay, A plus on the slip. This is my hair after applying the deep conditioner. So far, I'm loving it. My hair feels super amazing. Like the wiry feeling is gone. My hair feels soft, it feels moisturized, and it feels really light on my head. Like I guess since the texture was light, my hair still feels light with all the product on it. And it feels moisturized. And the slip was great and everything. So I'm definitely enjoying this deep conditioner. Again, herbal scent. So if you like that, if you don't, not everything in her brand has herbal scent. So if you're worried about that, I guess you can pick some other things. Oh, like she has, I think she still has that chopper deep conditioner that I love. And has a sweet foodie scent if you're into that. But I'm loving the Ayurvedic treatment right now. I'm hoping like my hair is getting stronger, more elastic, all the promises that was made. Plus, we have the moisture, we have the clean scalp, we have the happy wash day. So far, yes, winning, yes, yes. It's been a while since I had a good wash day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My hair feels good, looks good, and it feels moisturized. So I'm gonna go let it sit and then I'll be back to show you guys the result and get to the styling. See you in a bit. I'm loving how my hair feels. I can't even stop touching it. <laughs> you know, that's a sign. But yeah, my hair hasn't felt this moisturized in a long while. So, yes. I'm back after letting it sit. It does feel good. Like, it feels really light and it feels really moisturized. So, I like it. Plus, you know, whatever Ayurvedic benefits and stuff. So, new winner, new staple. Be happy, be happy. <laughs> and that pretty much means I'll probably be buying from Curls and Potions this Black Friday. As long as the sale is good and the stuff I want isn't sold out, I'm gonna I'm gonna be in there again. So yeah. So now I'm going to start the wash and go process. <laughs> I have so many misses. I'm like, I don't even care, okay? I don't care if it's a custard or a gel. Hoping it's like a gel, I don't care. And I'm not gonna be hurt <laughs> when I open this. If it's not what I think it's gonna be, but let's see. Let's kill the suspense and see what they have. <laughs> yeah, it's like a jealous something something. So, woo. like that's really, you know, like I hear these days you can never tell if you're gonna get like a cream, a custard, or a gel when you buy 
something that you know says it's kind of like a jello jelly or custard you just don't know what you're gonna get but this was definitely like a jelly something so yay and let's go <laughs> I'm gonna be using the curling jelly as my leave-in which just proves the point because the curling jelly is definitely a cream this is my hair before applying any product and I'm going to apply the curling jelly which I'll be using as my leave-in <laughs> It is kind of like rich and creamy and gives good definition. I do generally prefer to use a leave-in under this, but since I'm gonna put a little bit of oil over it, it should be fine in terms of moisture. So this has more of, like I said, just a sweet scent. It's slightly herbal, but nothing near as herbal as the shampoo and deep conditioner. It's more on the sweet side. So this is my hair with the curling jelly. I do like this curling jelly. Well, it's more of like a twisting cream, I would say it's probably perfect for that. But I do like it overall as a product, in terms of slip and just in terms of like creaminess and stuff and slight hold and stuff. So, yeah. You can check out my review the first time I use this, I guess, <laughs> to see what I really think. Like I, the only thing I would say is I think it could have had more moisture. But as a layering product, like on top of something else or below something else, I think it works great. So, yeah. So now I'm going to add a little bit of oil. That, that smile was fine in the jelly, but I forgot how to add the oil. <laughs> so I'm going to add a little bit of oil and then get to the jelly. So just my homemade oil mix. Nothing fancy, not too much. So this is with the oil. It's easy to apply, it's not runny or anything. So I don't have to worry about dripping or anything. I just apply it easy peasy. It has a very mild scent. I almost want to say it smells like water. Like it's just a very, very mild scent. So nothing to worry about in terms of scent. And I love the feel of it. Like it's very light, has lots of slip, feels moisturizing and everything. So it's pretty much a dream to apply. It's not very tacky, but I mean, we'll see. Like I like my gels to be tacky, but it's not a necessity and it does seem to have nice um, definition and hold so as you can see the slip is great and I really do like how it feels it feels like it's gonna be moisturizing and it's light so the deep conditioner felt super light and the styler felt super light so maybe there's a super light leave-in to be found somewhere that I can try for Black Friday because I do like light products because it gives me more volume so one thing that's interesting and I like is that as you rake in this product, it just starts to feel more juicy and springy. So I don't know if that's the hyaluronic acid or what, but it's kind of cool. Because even my very kind of, you know, <laughs> elongated kind of S-shaped curl starts to feel kind of bouncy and springy. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but for this, this is super springy for this. The back is like more coily, so I expect that to spring. But this is like giving you an extra spring when you're like raking. After you've raked in for a while, it gives you start to give you like some extra spring. And you don't feel like stopping, it just feels nice. And I think that's like one of the main things of this wash day. Like I just want to keep touching my hair. <laughs> so that's a good thing. I think this is what we call in wash day success, yo. <laughs> so yeah, I'm enjoying my results so far. It's looking good. Um, and we'll see what we get when it dries. I mean, we're still gonna see, I guess, in terms of like holes and everything, but in terms of application, it's a dream. This is my hair with the styler. Me likey, me likey. So it looks like kind of like fine, like not like extra clump, but like defined, tiny spirals, I guess. So it looks like that kind of fine curl definition as opposed to like big heavy clumps which I like because it just kind of gives me like extra I don't know, it's just cute I like the tiny curls as opposed to sometimes like the clump like ego styler clumps I like kind of like the tiny curls that I get with some stylers and this is definitely giving me that like look at look how tiny this is tiny but defined so yeah, so far I'm happy I'm excited, I'm done yay 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 all three I am going to switch it up a bit from usual and then I am going to go under the dryer pretty much now because it's late and I'm tired of being awake. <laughs> so, but yeah, I'm expecting good things 
I'm expecting it to dry pretty quickly since it just feels so light and so airy and uh, we'll see how it dries tomorrow. <laughs> Just careful spin, not gonna bust my tail again. Um, yeah. <laughs> so this is it, this is my result. I do like it, definitely has good hold, definitely not crunchy, like it's just a good, you can actually feel the cast but it's not crunchy, which is good. I accidentally gave myself a side part, which could be why I'm not really feeling the overall look but i do think that you know the curls are cute and <laughs> and it's good you know it does feel soft it does feel moisturized i still wish it was a little softer a little more moisturized a little juicier just giving me a little bit more mood <laughs> but overall i like it so yeah so i would recommend you giving it a try and just seeing what you think of it so the main thing I bought these products for for the ingredients, I'm glad that the ingredients were good and the products themselves also didn't disappoint. The Bamboo and Rice Water Growth and Restore Shampoo. I like that it moisturized my hair, cleansed my hair, didn't leave my hair feeling stripped and I could run my fingers through after rinsing, which is always a plus for a shampoo. I don't feel too rice watered out, I guess, which is good. <laughs> so yeah. The deep moisture portion is like the money shot. This is where the money is at. This is where the money resides. This is what I want to repurchase. I love this. The moisture, the lightness, the ingredients. Yes, this was it for me. This one will definitely be seeing me Black Friday. I do have another moisturizing deep conditioner from them to try. So definitely another curls and portions wash day is coming up. But this was it, honey. This was it. So yes, yes, yes. If you've tried it, let me know. If you haven't tried it, get on it. The moisture was amazing, felt light, the slip was great, it just did everything a deep conditioner needs to do, and the ingredients are great. I love the hyaluronic acid, I love that this had rice water but was like still super moisturizing. So this will be the thing for people who want to use rice water but don't like how the homemade stuff does you. This will be a perfect product to try because it had the rice water and it had the moisture. So winning star just gonna hold this up now so you can see all the fancy flowers and hats and stars and fireworks around it so the curling jelly i've used before like i said i like the whole i like the creaminess of it and i wish it had more moisture that was my original review and it's pretty much still my review i use it as a leave-in just because i like to keep things in the family when i'm doing a review and this was the only kind of leave-in-ish type of curls and potions product that i have open so i decided to just go with it I was hoping that the oil over it would just help seal in the moisture but I mean my hair doesn't feel dry at all but it doesn't feel like that juicy feeling when I'm all happy and I just like woo my hair my hair like, I don't have that feeling this week it's just a little under par for me in terms of moisture in terms of juiciness softness and everything even though it does feel great it just I wish it felt just this much better this is one of her earlier lines not really an Ayurveda line but like the traditional honey stuff and stuff that I like don't ask me how long I had it, but it didn't spoil it, it says it's spoiled, okay, that's how I roll. And this, I wanted this to be the star of the show just because I really love the application and I really love like it was a unique in terms of how light it was and how easy it was to apply and slip on the moisture and everything. But I think I would have to try this again with a leave-in that's more moisturizing for me to really get the full effect. So I haven't given up on this and I still don't hate it. I just wish my hair was a little bit more to my taste in terms of like feel you know in terms of look I do feel like yeah you know it did do a great job my coils are here popping so in terms of look I'm fine with it I just wish my hair was a little juicier and had a little bit more movement I'm really happy with these products overall the styling jelly was interesting, different. I always like to find something that's unique, you guys know. The styling jelly stood out just because of how light it was. My hair dried really nice and fast, which I always like. Because you know my hair is thick and it can be difficult to get it too dry. <laughs> so yeah. But for all, I got my bamboo, my rice water, my fenugreek, my amla, my hibiscus. So it was a good wash day. It was a good wash day. I do think Curls and Potions is a bit of a slept on brand. So if you haven't tried it, you should. That's it you guys, wash day complete, thank you for watching, see you in the next one, <laughs> I'll see you in the next one, bye!